we've just bought the OEX roof tent from Go Outdoors and it's absolutely excellent. It has not one, not two, but three other openings apart from the front door. So you have 360 degree views, which for the money is absolutely excellent. Now the tent itself comes with a really, really sturdy uh, cover, weather cover for when it's on the car with all these clips to keep it nice and tight when you're traveling. I think it's just really well built to be honest. I can't believe it for the price. So if we start undoing all these clips, I can show you what it's like to put up. It's actually really easy. Once you get, the, I think the cover, taking the cover off is probably the hardest bit in putting the tent itself up. Just because you have to reach across the roof, kind of, to uh, take this off. A bit hard with one hand. I'm not scratching the car. There you go. So underneath, this is the actual tent. Aluminium frame. The fixings are really, really sturdy. Although I have. I have added these nuts just for a little bit of security because anyone could just walk up, undo these and walk away with your tent. But to actually unfold it is as easy as this. You've got this Velcro, Velcro strap on here, walk around to the other side, you then have this rubber strap that you take off. That just holds the ladder in place. Pull the ladder back all the way out. Pull down like this. And then you can pull the whole thing down just like this. After we've done that, we can just press these red buttons on the ladder to lower the ladder down a bit so we can level the tent out itself and then position the ladder just to make the tent level. As quick as that. There's just a couple more things to do to uh, complete the tent. Once you've unfolded the tent and positioned the ladder, you climb halfway up the ladder, and then we just need to pull this bar back. Then we need to undo this Velcro strap. It is a steady for the top of the tent with a quick release latch just on here. So, two catches just here, press the buttons in and we can lift the canopy up till that latch is in place and that is basically it. We're ready. You also have these handy pouches which are waterproof on the side they need to be I guess with kind of net in the back. I guess so if you put wet shoes in, they can uh, get some air. They're inside, it does actually have a mattress built in, but also underneath that is another layer of foam. So it's actually quite soft. I think it's quite comfortable, to be honest. Not quite as good as a bed uh, at home, but uh, pretty good for a tent on the roof of your car. Inside we have these uh, kind of bungee cords uh, that are just there to pull the tent together when, when you fold it away. So they can come off. They're just hooked on. 
Now some of these roof tents from other manufacturers are an absolute fortune. But this, how much do you think? When we first saw it, the price said £1,500. Until we got closer, £890. I can't believe it. I've wanted one for a long time. And at that price, we had to have one. As you can see from inside, having these four openings, is a bit of a game changer, I think. Oh, I forgot to mention. There's some pouches up here to keep your phone and your keys in. If you're thinking about buying a roof tent, you should really check out one of these. OEX, by the way, is a Go Outdoors own brand of outdoor equipment. The quality of this stuff is actually really good. I mean, I'm not sure what the mattress is made out of, but feels like cotton. As you can see, this is actually double layered as well. It's just gonna make it a little bit quieter when it's raining, I think, with uh, the layer over the top of the inner tent as such. Although the inner tent isn't really an inner tent, it's this really, really thick, uh, waterproof backed material. Uh, so it's literally double layered. One of the other advantages of the size of this tent is uh, my car's got some quite big doors. So I can still fully open my doors. It's just really handy being able to still get in the car. So packing it away is just as easy as unpacking it. We put the bungee cords back in the middle in an X to pull the sides in when we fold it up. We need to fold down the door and I found just to stick it down with these uh, Velcro patches rather than doing the zip up otherwise you kind of get air stuck in there and it's a little bit more difficult to fold up. So then we need to release the bar at the top. Put that back up there with the Velcro. And then press these buttons to lower the canopy down. Push that down until it clicks into place. Let that fold back. Just flip these uh, shoe bags up on the top. Then we can climb down the ladder and see this is one-handed. Give it one big push up. Just like that, tuck these sides in a little bit just to help us get the top cover on. Now there is two little red uh, latches there. We just push those in. Then we can push the ladder all the way back into place. Then we get this red strap. This this strap is just to stop the ladder unfolding. We can do that from the other side. This rubber strap is to hold the actual ladder in place stop it going anywhere come around to this side I'm just going to use this velcro strap to hold down the open and end and that usually pulls it quite nice and tight nice and sturdy. Now we just need to get the top cover on and you're good to drive again. Right, let's get this top cover on. 
as you can see, I'm doing this all by myself, so it is quite possible. It, it is possible to do by yourself. I wouldn't say it's particularly difficult in any shape or form. Just pull the cover down on each corner. And four. Now we can do the corner ones. That just keeps everything super tight. These are just the corner ones to kind of fold under the cover. Nice and easy. Tighten them up. Tighten that up. And that is that, ready to drive away again. Hope this helped anyone, see you soon.